Hello, I'm Matt Guff from House.com, and I'm here with Joe Sexton from Publican 1817. Joe, how you doing, man? I'm doing good. How are you? So good. Um, we invited our uh, Instagram followers to ask Joe a couple of questions, and uh, they've actually laid a couple out. So I'm going to walk those through with Joe. This is actually his idea, and we've done this in the past. Yeah. And it's fun. It's fun. I like I like uh, hearing the questions that, that people have of our subscribers who are fans of yours. So Okay, so here's actually just first one. I posted this right before you came out. Oh, okay. All right. Um, and, oh gosh, there's actually quite a few of them. Ron Jarris, how did he come up with the name Public for his snowboard brand? That's a good question. That's a good question. Uh, it was literally like when the decision came to start a brand. It yeah. was like, okay, so here's that we're going to do it. And then you want to be at SIA, so you have to have, to have like a name and everything Yeah. now, yeah. pretty much. And I literally just sat there with a notebook and looked through books and magazines and all this stuff. And yeah. it was just like... The one theme was just like, oh, I want to do something for like, you know, I was always like, oh, these people in this, in this community and this and this and this. And then yeah. it just like, the name just kind of hit. And then yeah. I was like, what about this to the sky? And there, no one was really that into it at first. And I was like, no, no, that's, that's it. Like, it just felt good. Yeah. And then uh, when I thought about like, damn, like that word means a lot of things. Like that means like greater good and community and yeah. all this stuff. I was just like stoked on it. I was like that. That's the name. So that's a it's a good name. Thanks. And it's a rad logo. The no, logo. Well, and then, and then that was the cool part too. Is I reached out to Anthony, my friend Anthony Capetta, Capetta. Him forever. Cool. Is he and in Italy still? No, he's in New York. In he's New like York. big time designer. And I call him. And he's like drunk outside a bar, and I'm like, hey, I'm gonna start a snowboard company. Like, can you do the logo? And, and he's like, what? And then he like comes back and like walks outside. You're starting a snowboard company? And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then so I, he's just like, yeah, I'd love to do the logo. So yeah. he did the logo and he did this one. Yeah. And it was just like a couple tries and then he just like nailed it. That's so, the one. Yeah. And everything worked like that. It was cool. Like logo and then it's like Josh came on board and then like the whole thing yeah. just fell into place. So ah. cool. And all of it started as like, will you do one little thing for me? Like I remember Anthony was like, hey, can you do the, like, the logo? And then it's like he ended up doing, like trying to do a couple boards. And oh, Josh, yeah. I hit up Josh originally to do like a sticker or a t-shirt. Yeah. And then Josh was like, if you're doing a brand, I want to be the architect. Like, I want to do everything. And I, I want to like, do all the well, I'm management. not going to argue with that. Like, <laughs> you know, come on. So, yeah. yeah. Jo Josh who? Manolas. Okay. Yeah. And I've That's always been a big fan of Josh Manolas. Like, yeah. he did all the stuff with Rift and Make yep. Friends or Die. And awesome. it was like, damn, I was like, whoa, like, I didn't think about that. Like, he's never really done anything in snow. And, but he's got this really cool eye. And I was like, that could be really cool. I showed it some of the team good. guys, like, hey, we might have this guy do the art. And they're like, whoa, yeah, right. let's do it. When you, the, yeah, that first year you launched at SIA, mm -hmm. like, it, like, the, the art was like yeah. on point. He's just like really meticulous and attention to detail. And like, yep. he wants to see it be good for himself. Yep. So that just trickles down to like it being good for the brand. Right. Like, good thing you have him on, you know? Too, like, I'm like, Forever in debt. <laughs> Forever <laughs> grateful for what he's done for us. It's amazing. Yeah. That was awesome. All right, we got uh, Isaac Parent. What's up, Isaac? How you doing, man? Um, where do you see yourself in 20 years from now, and where do you see your brands at? 20 years. That's so far down You're like 40-something. I'll be 20 years now. I'll be 50. You're f I'll be 50 years old. Wow. You're 30? <laughs> I'm 30 years old. Hey, hey. Welcome to 30 Club. Uh, yeah, 30 uh, years, man. Or 20 years. I don't know. That's a really strange question. It's been, if I look back 20 years from where I'm at now, sure. I'd be 10 years old. Yeah. You're so like a little ripper Think, but think about like how much has changed in that time. Mm. So it's like from 10 to 30, that's 20 years. And there's been so much that's happened. Like socially, technology, innovations, totally. yeah. like that, so, that ways. Yeah. So like, you know, when I was 10, there was no, I don't even know if there was internet then. There was definitely no Instagram. Beginning. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I, that's, it's all going to depend on where the technology goes with it. Yeah. You know, I want to still be doing, I still want to be snowboarding. Right. I still want to be running these brands Yep. and you know, hopefully they're in good positions in 20 years. Yeah. I don't know. I can see a lot of stuff happening in 20 years, <laughs> like, yeah. but I, I mean, I, either way, I'm just going to keep following the same path of like yep. going with what uh, excites me at the time. Sure. That's like what I've always done. Like I've had so many times where I'm like, about to start something new already because I'm just like yeah. this would be so cool and then it's like whoa, whoa, whoa <laughs> yeah. maybe not but it's like it just feels so like that's what I like to do awesome I like the excitement of like the unknown kind of yeah absolutely yeah. for 20 years you know like yeah a lot a yeah. lot could happen a lot could happen man that's a good that's a, that's a pretty cool question all right next up we've got uh, Skate Dad 300 uh, why leave Stepchild in order to uh, start another company uh, doesn't he have a bunch of his 
um, on his plate with 1817? That's a great question. That's a great question, too. <laughs> Good job. The answer is Skip yes. That. I have a lot on my plate, but the my answer is sort of just like, why not? Like, I still mm-hmm. feel like I have a lot of free time to do things, and I wanted to try to take the next step into something a little bit more, like, mature. I don't know. Clothing and stuff is great, but this mm-hmm. is, like, a snowboard brand. This is, like, hard goods. Yeah. It's a, it's a real company. Yeah. And I... When I had the opportunity to do it, it was like, I want to try, sure. at least, and like try to take something really serious. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, with Stepchild, just got to the point. It was like, I rode for him for nine years. It's a long time. Yeah, and had a bunch of pro models, and yep. it's like, had a great relationship. But just like with anything in life, it just yep. becomes like, that, that unknown. Like, man, mm-hmm. what if there was something else out there? Right. Like something that's like, a little bit more, you get to a certain point, and you're mm-hmm. just like, for whatever reason, you just get stir crazy and you're like, I just got to do something else. Yeah. And you can't even explain it. And yep. there's really no way to explain why mm-hmm. the, and the feelings you have. But it mm-hmm. it does feel like this, like, I just need a change. Yep. And I don't even know what it is, but it's something. And yeah. I'm going to figure it out. Yeah. So that's kind of what it came to. And I loved riding for Stepchild. I still love all those guys. I have a lot of respect for them. And yep. it's just like, it just got to that point. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He was like that gut feeling. You know, that's it, really, that something feels so hard to even explain. I couldn't even explain it to mm-hmm. anybody. It was just like you just I just had that that feeling. Yeah. Yeah. So. Huh. All right. Next up, we got actually a couple coming in. Uh, Alec Debarra. Uh, huh. RuneScape or World of Warcraft? What is it? RuneScape or World of Warcraft? Those I think those are video games. Oh, I don't even know what those are. Yeah. Uh, the only one I know of World of Warcraft, so I'll say World of Warcraft. Yeah, I think it's called. They call it WoW. Wow, okay. Yeah. I've never heard of RuneScape. No, I think I have, but I, I've never played either. Well, I'll just answer it with my own. NHL 18. Is it that good? That'll be my, that's my answer to that video. Are you, are you a gamer? Just hockey. Just hockey. Yeah, just NHL. Just, okay. Do you Which ever... I will beat my brother at. Will you? Yeah. Oh, that feels good. Well, he used to beat me when we were kids. I, we had a checklist, and he beat me like 42 games to zero. Oh, my and God. And I would like be so, like, through the remote, through the end of the wall... And yeah. like I try to like break it with my bare hands, like I just get so <laughs> mad. <laughs> but but that's the one NHL eighteen. Yeah, over over those two. That's good. What team do you usually pick? I usually play the Wild. You usually play the Wild. Yeah, but if I'm playing against somebody else, and we get to pick teams. I, I play the team that my because my brother's in the game. Okay. For sixteen or seventeen or one of those ones. Wow. And I'll play like Ducks, like fourth line. I'll put him on the bench. Like yeah. I'll play him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, Isaac Woodrich. A lot of guys named Isaac asking questions. Isaac Woodrich, uh, you going to come shred after this season? What's up, Isaac? Yeah, I'd love to. Yeah. I haven't been there since they redid the whole thing. Oh, dude. It's, I heard it's fun. The park's pretty, pretty yeah. dope. Yeah, I I, uh, I would like to. I don't know. I just I never get out there because it's like Buck or Highland or something like yeah. that. But yeah, I'm down. I would like to. Yeah. All right. And then we got, let me see. We, we put up another post like what, yesterday? Printed it out, but it's kind of fun looking at the phone instead. Yeah. All right. Uh, we got Scotty P. Scotty P rocks. I think you know Scotty P. He's mm-hmm. a Highland dude. Uh, yeah, yeah. How do, you, uh, how do you be successful in starting a snowboard company? Uh, work ethic. I would just say, like, deadlines. Just being real, being realistic about what you want to get out of it the first couple of years. Yeah, expectations. It's huge. Like, you can't sit there and be like, we didn't make a million dollars. Like, we suck. Like... You just have to understand <laughs> that things take time. Yeah. There's so, like, people still think J.P. Walker rides for form. You know? like Do they really? There's, I've heard it all the time. Like, wow. if you're out of it, like, you, so just, you can't expect people to, like, you can't launch a brand and just be like, you don't know about this. It's like, people don't know about a lot of stuff, yeah. and that's totally yeah. fine. And I think it's just working hard. I think the biggest thing is, like, if you're going to do it with somebody, it's just communication. Yeah. It's huge. Like, you mm-hmm. just have to have, a, like, be on the same page and just have good communication. Yep. And then it's just work hard every day and set little goals for yourself. Like, mm-hmm. okay, if we're here in a month, like, like if, if this is what we want to have in a month, like we get it done and that's, yep. we, we, that's good. And yep. just keep setting little victories for yourself to keep mm-hmm. you inspired. Yep. It's big. Cause the big picture is like, especially with snowboard, he asked about snowboard company. Yeah. Yep. It's a year turnaround. So mm-hmm. you like, you still don't see graphics that you worked on until a year later that are in store. Actually like, on a product. On a product. Yeah. So it's like, that can be a little bit discouraging sometimes when mm-hmm. you're like, damn, it's been eight months. We've seen these graphics so much. And like, yep. now we're working on the new ones and the other ones aren't even in stores yet. Like, yeah. so just having to like understand that thing, understanding that things just take time yep. is the biggest thing. If it's going to yep. say a week, it's going to be three weeks. 
Oh, yeah. I just think that's just kind of what it comes down to. Yeah. And you can't control that kind of stuff because that's, you know, that's the factory or that's whatever. But right. It's understanding that things just take longer than they than you think. Yep. Yeah. Yep. What was that? One of my favorite quotes, and I don't know who said it, was uh, Rome wasn't built in a day. Yeah. You know, like like brick by brick. Yeah. You know, like something amazing could be made, but it takes like a lot of totally. little work totally. to make something grand. You yeah, know? exactly. Yeah. And then that's another good advice I had is just be realistic. Like, what do you want to yeah. get out of this? If you want it to be like a passion project and it's like mm-hmm. this, then it, that can totally serve its purpose. If you're yep. sitting there hoping it's going to be this money maker thing, right. you know, you got to be realistic about what, what, you're, what you're offering, mm-hmm. you know? So mm-hmm. yeah, you just have to kind of like be honest with yourself. That's yep. the biggest part. That's yeah. a good one. That's good advice, Joe Sexton. Be honest with yourself. Uh, we've got a troll, David. Um, if you were an animal on a merry-go-round, what would you be, and what song would be playing as you went around and around? I thought there was only <laughs> just one. Isn't it just horses on a merry-go-round? I I guess there can be others. There's other ones. All right, I'll say I'd be I'd be like a unicorn. Nice, because I think that's just what I pictured right away. Yep. And the song that's Ooh. going I'm going around to is "Forever in Blue Jeans" by Neil Diamond. Really? Yeah. That'd be good. Yeah. That could be a cool t shirt. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, how nice is it to know that you're actually being a productive influence on Midwest snowboarding, seeing, uh, seeing as people like you are needed in the day and age? Wow. That's a, what a nice guy. That's Juicy Joker. That's, uh, um, that's Garrett McKenzie. Oh, no way. Yeah, dude. Thanks, Look Garrett. Wow. Yeah. His question again was. How nice is it to know you're actually being a productive influence on Midwest snowboarding? How do yeah, you that's, feel? That's really flattering. That is. That's cool. What a good dude. Yeah, that's really nice. Um, like I said, I'm just trying to do my best. I'm trying to be positive. I'm trying yeah. to like have a positive influence. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I think as long as the same thing, just being honest with yourself is what, what we're doing. And I don't know. I, I don't think I'm doing it in a sense of like I, I'm striving for this recognition. Yep. I just like I'm in this position and I want to try to do the best I can ah, while the I'm there, you know? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that's cool to be recognized like that. Is, that's really nice. So, yeah. yeah, that stuff gets me stoked for sure. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> oh, emotional. Uh, you know? No. All right. All right. Not so, crying, you're crying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, slow 911 Turbo asks, uh, when can we get public... Uh, 18, uh, when can we get public 20, uh, 17, 2018 boards and gear? Oh yeah, we can get those next week. Next week? Yeah, they're gonna be they're gonna be here. They're gonna be here. Whenever this thing's filmed, they'll be probably available now. If you when this thing comes out. Right. Yeah. The That's gear, awesome. Yeah, everything will be here next week, and then um, we'll have gear. They'll be in stops like starting to happen like this week and next week. So solid. Yeah. Stay tuned. You got a week. Yeah. All right, and then I actually skipped one. Um, oh. This was uh, Jack Siebert. Mm. We ever make a uh, this is public board collab with eighteen seventeen. Ooh, that's what the kids want. Yeah, I guess that's a lot. But I would, I mean, I'm down. I just think yeah. it, it has to make sense. I have to run it by my business partner, Jake. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> but, right. I mean, that would be cool. And it'd be cool to tie all that stuff together because yeah. it is, like, everyone involved. Everyone involved, like, on public still, like, gets stuff from 1870. It's all, yeah. like, one thing. So, yeah. yeah, I mean, I'd love to. It just has to, like, make sense. Yeah. Yeah, yep, for sure. It's always that. Like, we're like, yeah, that'd be so cool. But then it's like... Doesn't make sense. Yeah, you just gotta be, just gotta be smart about that stuff. Right. But yeah. awesome. Yeah. Well, hey, Joe. Thanks for answering those questions. Thank you. I know those kids thanks, would be guys. psyched. Uh, Instagram. Thanks again so, for tuning into the live feed. Uh, YouTube. Uh, thank you guys for for watching. Again, we just broke twenty five thousand subscribers. We couldn't do that without you. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, do that because we're gonna start doing a little bit different interactions instead of just product review vi- videos. Moving into the winter of eighteen, so we'll do some interviews like. We did with Joe Sexton. So uh, even though this is one video, there's another one with that's called the Joe Sexton interview. Make sure to check that out and give it a like. Thanks so much. See you guys around. Thank you.